Hello, I'm Mike Rubita. It was February 1984. George Orwell was blathering on about something or other. I don't think anybody was listening. There were brutal assaults all over the country over something called a Cabbage Patch Kid. And my favorite filmmaker Woody Allen's forgotten classic Broadway Danny Rose had the potential to be the first in a series of movies that would amount to a life of movie buffery. But while my mother's pedigree as a neurotic, overworked grad student in New York City should have gravitated her towards the black and white jazz-infused Allen vehicle, she instead chose a different film for she and my father's first date. It was the story of a girl who spent her days as a straight-A high school student and her nights as a crime-fighting prostitute. The film was, of course, Angel. My mother's reasoning for choosing this film over any other? Quote, I just gotta understand how she does it. In regards to my father, it certainly takes a special kind of man, or perhaps a special kind of love, to continue a date with a woman who is researching prostitute time management. But he did, and without that special something, I would not be here today. Angel was directed by Robert Vine O'Neill and starring Donna Wilkes, who IMDb suggests you might know from Jaws 2 or a 1979 episode of Different Strokes. Angel went on to gross nearly $20 million and spawned three sequels, Avenging Angel, Angel 3 The Final Chapter, and then when apparently the final chapter wasn't final enough, Angel 4 Undercover. This is Mike Robita, totally willing to shave his beard for a Turner Company broadcast.